Okay, this video is for people who are having issues with their resolution in uh, Raspberry Pi B plus RetroPi and at RetroArch. Uh, it's uh, just a, if you're having some problems with a blurry screen or games that don't look as true as you uh, would like and maybe you're messing around with resolution settings, I'm going to show you how to correct some of those and get the best picture possible out of your monitor and out of RetroPi. And for those of you who want uh, a little better understanding of resolution and aspect ratio, there's a link with a video uh, of a, a YouTube video I did explaining resolution and aspect ratio, which will be beneficial um, in understanding the settings in RetroPie. Okay, for my video, we're going to try and stay out of the config files. And we're just going to mess with some of the settings in uh, Raspberry Pi itself and RetroPie itself. Uh, but first, let me show you a game where I was having an issue and a blurry screen. So we're going to launch uh, our game. We, uh, we look at it. It looks okay. It's not perfect. It's not that great. Um, but it could be better. Um, and then I launch my XMB menu, and oh, it looks terrible. It looks blurry. Uh, you can barely read it. It's not supposed to look like this. Um, so now we have to figure out, well, what steps can we uh, do to correct this? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back uh, to the Raspberry config menu um, at the main menu. So we're going to go into RetroPy. We're going to launch Raspi config. And then we're going to take a look at these options here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into advanced options. And then we're going to go into resolution settings. And we're going to take a look at this. The first thing I want you to notice is that it gives you a resolution and an aspect ratio. If you select one of these and you'll hit enter, uh, and then it's going to force you to reboot in order for the settings to take place, your screen is not going to change into the aspect ratio that's next to that resolution setting. That is just uh, an aspect ratio that corresponds to that resolution setting, which is what I was explaining to you about the one by one. Now, what's interesting here is you're going to see something here that doesn't make sense, and, uh, and I'm telling you it's incorrect by uh, the RetroPie settings here, and I'm going to point it out. But first, I want to tell you, if you select one of these preferred resolutions that has a 4x3 next to it, you're going to want to change your TV screen to be in the 4x3 mode, and you'll get a better picture image with that correlation. So take a look at these two um, options right here that are highlighted. Uh, you're going to see that there's two settings that are 720 by 480, 720 by 480, and one saying it's for 4 by 3 and one saying it's uh, 16 by 9. If you were paying attention to the tutorial earlier, you'll go, well, wait a second, that doesn't correlate. And you're right, it doesn't because the aspect ratio does not correlate to the, to the resolution ratio there and it shouldn't be 720 by 480. Okay, so let's just get back to uh, these settings and where your resolution uh, might be causing you a problem. Okay, so we're looking at this menu um, in the Raspberry config and you'll see a bunch of, again, resolutions, uh, corresponding aspect ratios. And the first option is default monitor preferred resolution. Uh, if you're messing around in here, you might have gone and tried to select a resolution that you thought uh, your monitor was capable of. But if you leave it on monitor preferred resolution, the Raspberry Pi is going to select the best resolution for you uh, that your monitor is capable of and the output that uh, um, it's getting. So my suggestion is to leave it um, at that. And that's what I'm going to do here. Um, and then we can take a look and see if that um, fixed the, the issue. We'll exit out and finish and take a look at the game. So we go back into um, our game and it loads up and the display looks the same. Uh, no change yet. And we launch it and look at it and go into our XMB menu ah, it still looks terrible. So obviously that didn't fix the issue. Um, although that, that configuration um, it will, you know, will change, you know, it back to the right setting. If you go back to default in this particular situation, it didn't work. So we're going to go back into the game. We're going to launch it again, and we're going to try a different option. 
when we launch the game, we're going to get this menu. We're going to hit a button A or, or whatever to launch it. And we get a bunch of new options um, that are for the MAME emulator resolution settings. Um, and you'll see at the top, you can see the emulator MAME uh, and the video mode is 640 by 480. There's our problem. How did this get set at 640 by 480? And how do we change it back? Well, we take a look at a few of our options. Option four is select default video mode for MAME. And we open that op op option up and we see a whole bunch of uh, options for different resolution settings that we can set manually. So you can choose one on here if you if if you prefer and i'll show you another way obviously but my preferred setting for this monitor is 1360 by 768 so i'm going to set that and i go back to the menu but the video mode did not change you can still see at the top it's 640 by 480 and i can tell you even if we launch the game or restart it it's not going to change it uh it'll, it, your your mode will change as soon as you change the settings so we're going to go to option five which is select video mode for the particular ROM and emulator uh, ROM specific. We'll go down, we'll do the same thing. I'll select uh, my 1360 by 768 and uh, voila, it, uh, you can see that the video mode at the top has changed to 1360 by 768. So now it appears, hey, we got our video mode corrected by, uh, e well, in this case, changing to the correct video mode 1360 by 68. Uh, by 768, which is good for a 16 by 9 screen. Uh, I will show you one other way. You can remove the choices that you made prior to the emulator by just using option 6, which will remove the video mode choice that you had for the, for, uh, the default for that emulator. Um, and then you can also, and you'll see there's no option 6 anymore because we removed it. You can also do option 7, which is remove video choice for MAME 2000 plus ROM, which is what I set last time at 1360 by 768. Once I remove that, it goes back to using the config resolution for Raspberry, the Raspi config, and that optimal setting that the that Raspberry Pi chose was 1360 by 768. Now, if we launch the game here, and ignore the overlay i added that and uh ooh, the resolution looks a lot better because it went from from basically 480 to 768 and i go into my xmb menu and ah that's the way it's supposed to look much more crisp much more clear um changes the resolution as well um now uh there is one more setting if all this doesn't work um that i will show you um, but uh, it, usually for most people, these are the settings that they were tooling around in and screwed something up. Um, if you change too many settings and uh, you start messing around in the config files and manually adjusting configs, you're probably going to have a problem. You're probably going to have to go delete some config file settings, um, which is not an optimal option to start messing around and deleting um, default configs and, and retroarch configs um, through FTP. So um, let's take a look at that one last option because this looks good, you know, even though it corrected it for me. And it's option eight, which is uh, select RetroArch render resolution for MAME 2003 um, config. Now, I can't speak to this one very well, but I just say stay out of it. Um, it appears that it uses the config file resolution when other settings aren't set or something of that nature. But uh, if you want, you can mess around in here and try and match them up to what you want. But um, in general, I would just stay out of this setting um, and try not to change anything. Um, and, and you should be fine with the other options that I showed you. Um, so we'll just back out of there and uh, cancel out. And hopefully that these um, settings uh, adjusted your resolution and it corrected any issues um, if not you're going to have to google some other options on uh, what's going wrong it could be your tv um, it could be a couple other factors and if uh, you have any aspect ratio concerns that deals more with retro arc settings um, than than anything else so if you have any questions just email the rexer show at gmail.com or feel free to put some comments 
in the uh, in below and watch that tutorial on uh, watch that tutorial on aspect ratio and resolution. You might learn something. Thanks.